The 6th of January is usually the day when all Egyptian Copts gather with their friends and family to head to church to celebrate Christmas Day. But this year's Christmas is a much stronger feast for all Egyptians. Today, Egyptians take a strong stand against the inhuman terrorism bombing of the Qiddisain Church located in Alexandria on New Year's Eve. Congratulations because of the Christmas time and second to be always one hand and no, no power can destroy them or can, uh, can separate uh, the two uh, religions present in the country. The Cathedral Church in Cairo welcomed Egypt's political leaders and celebrities to the Coptic Mass on Thursday. There is an intense sense of patriotism in the cathedral. Egyptians are standing today as one nation, regardless of differences in religion, race or breed, to fight terrorism. I think uh, we have to, to speak about Egypt for the Egyptians and we have to uh, enforce and to empower uh, everyone in order to, to be as it should be be uh, with all the value system that we all belong with the like hood, with the solidarity, with the equality, with the uh, all these things we have to go back once more. It is there, it is in our it blood, is it is the core of the Egyptian and so it is the time. Egypt as a country has been standing strong for years. Egyptian Copts and Egyptian Muslims have been living together in peace, forgetting the difference in religious beliefs. And with the willpower I'm surrounded by at the cathedral today and in every church in Egypt, there is no room for negative external interference such as terrorism. Terrorism. Terrorism has been always. It will live forever. Okay, but we have to know how to fight it the proper way, not with slogans said, but with facts and with, with civilized and educated people. You need educated people. You need to grow up these children when they are so little and so young and so tiny that they are one. Nobody can break them apart. The message is uh, this act was meant to divide this country. Okay. It united it. He was hoping to hit on 10 million Copts. He found 80 million Copts. Uh, he was hoping to uh, split the country. He found a unified country, one family like uh, uh, my friend and brother, uh, uh, Mr. Adil Imam said, we are one nation. And we are not a nation that has appeared in the last 40, 50 years, 60 years. We have 1,400 years of coexistence. We've been living with each other for 1,400 years. So it is not something you can break with one explosion or the murder of 20 or 30 people. Today's Christmas celebration was also attended by the Head of People's Assembly, Fathi Surur, Head of the Shura Council, Safwat al-Sharif, Sheikh al-Azhar, Egyptian International Council for Human Rights, Botrus Ghali, General Secretary of the Policy Committee in the National Democratic Party, Mr. Gamal Mubarak, and several others. They all strongly believe that the real Egypt is today's Egypt, when the whole nation stands hand in hand supporting one another on this special day. <laughs> What's happening today isn't new. This is the real Egypt. What happened on New Year's Eve goes against our values as Egyptians, and it will not cause religious tension between Copts and Muslims, because our relationship with one another is much stronger, and we will pull through. The sense of Egyptian pride is very strong all through the year, and since the unfortunate event on New Year's Eve till today, it feels like Egyptians are growing stronger and closer together, the atmosphere filling up the cathedral space felt like a ceremony of love, peace, and unity. Merry Christmas for starters. I wish everyone better days, and I want to thank President Mubarak for his constant support. 
Merry Christmas. The Coptic Mass at the Cathedral was a day for all Egyptians to stand strong together in solidarity, and it counts as a memorable day of unified love and power in the history of Egypt. Merry Christmas to you all. I am Salma Aymer, Nile International.